Travel outfits. Here are three methods to help you choose which clothes to pack. Today I am teaching you three methods that will help you choose travel outfits to expand that wardrobe while packing with a minimum amount of clothing in your suitcase. You will learn how to create a packing list based on your needs by choosing one of my methods. When we travel, we are essentially making a capsule wardrobe in our carry-on suitcase and I just now realized it after all these years as a pilot wife. So I created three visuals that will help you pick out those clothes for travel. And these will include your travel outfit as well as all those clothes you're going to wear on your vacation. I want you to know this is not a packing method video. I have several of those and I will list them for you, but this is going to show you three ways to choose those outfit pieces to pack. If you are a visual learner, these ways will really help you choose those wardrobe pieces. Be sure to stick around to the end to find mine and Oliver's easiest trick in creating a packing list. And while you're down there, hit subscribe or click thumbs up. Just let me know that you enjoyed this travel tip video. I am a Houston Pilots wife and YouTuber and I YouTube tricks and travel tips to help you be less stressed because you stressed less. The number one travel outfit list method is the sticky note method. This sticky note plan is simple, but it's also going to allow you to be very creative in picking your wardrobe pieces. In order to create a packing list, you have to have a starting point. So grab sticky notes and jot down the shoes that you absolutely must pack for your vacation activities. Are you going for leisure? You're going to combine business and leisure. Write down those shoes that you absolutely will need. You don't want to go hiking. I'm going to take off my shoe. You don't want to go hiking or have a chance of rain in the middle of Europe and have shoes with holes in them to go touring in. You want to pack shoes that are going to be leather or waterproof suede that you can they can get rained on and in thinking of the shoes that you absolutely need you are thinking minimally but we are not being bound by a minimalistic packing routine and you can only know the shoes that you are going to need if you check the weather that is number one all the time check the weather and base those shoes that you have to have on the weather. When we are done packing, you can add more shoes and be more creative, but start out with that list of sticky notes by writing down what shoes you're going to need. One travel hack for packing shoes is to use the newspaper bags that you get on your driveway and pack your shoes in there so the germs and dirt and muck won't get on your clothing. Or you can also use the dry cleaning bag that a lot of hotel rooms provide for you. These leather sneakers feel like tennis shoes with the arch support and everything, but they are the Echo brand. And then I recently found Blondo. I will list both of these below. These are really cute and trendy uh, booties and they are waterproof suede material somewhat, but the heel on these shoes is like one inch. So you can look cute and tour a lot in different cities and countries. If you are looking for shoes that are waterproof suede for men that are really comfortable, I highly recommend Merrill. Now that you have your shoes written, we're going to choose three shorts or three jeans, mix and match, three bottom pieces of an outfit for a five day trip and five bottom pieces of an outfit for a 10 day trip. If you want to wear a dress and are very comfortable in that dress, take out one of the bottoms. On these sticky notes, you're going to write the color and the style, like floral or navy blue shorts, uh, denim capris. Now look at those sticky notes with the bottom pieces. Can any of them only be worn once? You are going to wear that on the airplane, stick it in the closet of the hotel, and do not wear it again until you come home. It might help you to sit on your closet floor for this packing list exercise. Now write down the tops that you are going to pair with each shorts. Like I have a polka dotted shirt that I'm going to write on one of them. I'm going to write this Berlin t-shirt for the navy shorts and then a nicer blouse that you would wear sometime else during your vacation. There are certain things that you should not wear when you travel and I will list that video also. Then I see which sticky note top can go with another one of the sticky note bottom pieces. My Berlin shirt will match totally with the navy shorts as well as my floral, short, floral shorts that I have. Now it is time to tear up the sticky notes that can only be worn once. Like that purple plaid tank top, I'm gonna take out that sticky note. It's not a multitasker. Pattern shorts mix and match so well with solid t-shirts, blouses, and graphic t-shirts that have wording on them. 
If I'm going to a beach location, I can get away with wearing pattern shorts and a really nice blouse and some heeled sandals maybe or some wedges. And then I can wear those same shorts with flip flops on another day with a t-shirt and get more bang for my buck out of my travel pieces. Another method for choosing travel clothes is the stack method. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your shorts or your bottom pieces of an outfit and you're gonna pull out three of your favorite ones and stack them in a stack on your bed. But remember, they must go with the shoes that you must have for the activities and the weather on your vacation. For the bottom pieces of clothing, remember to pack bottom pieces that you are comfortable in. You don't want to eat a lot on vacation and have to be uncomfortable in your shorts, so bring your stretchy shorts or something like that. We're all insecure about a certain part of our body, so you don't want to have to worry about your body parts that you're insecure about while you're on vacation. Take a vacation mentally from all that stuff too. Now pick five to 10 of your favorite tops that you're comfortable in, you feel confident in them, or really cute or dressy in them, and stack them beside the bottoms. They don't have to match the bottoms, just pull out your favorites that come to mind first. You can write a list of each travel outfit that goes together. You wanna to find tops and bottom pieces that are not unitaskers. They need to be multitaskers and do a little bit of the work while you're having your vacation. So you want them to be able to worn, be worn more than once. I have one more method, but if you need a video about how to pack in a carry-on for 10 days, I will list that video. And then I also have some packing methods that, will, um, that you can choose from that are different ways for the organized person or the not so organized person. A subscriber gave me this third method for choosing your travel outfits and that is the camera method and a little bit of thinking. What you're going to do is you're going to choose three outfits if you're going on a five day trip and take a picture of outfit one, outfit two, and outfit three with the shoes that you need for each of those outfits. Now you're not done. Now find one more top for each of those bottom pieces. There are three more outfits right there or six or nine more outfits if you can mix and match them. I highly recommend having a second top to wear each day. For instance, we were in Rome, Italy and the Sistine Chapel is not air conditioning nor is the long museum that you have to walk through to get there. I was so sweaty by the time we got through touring that, that I wanted to change into another top, like to go out to dinner and sit on the piazza. Mm, mm, mm. I really hope those of you who are planning your vacation of a lifetime to Europe are not scared by this coronavirus. I hope your airline will get you there and you can have a wonderful, wonderful vacation. Go. We are going on a cruise and we are still going. I don't know if you know this, but 55% of travelers say that they do not wear all of the clothes that they pack. And yes, I'm guilty of that, even though I've been traveling for 17.9 years in a carry-on suitcase. So choosing one of these minimalist methods is going to help you decide on the most efficient travel outfit pieces to pack. Now my main trick for choosing travel outfits is to pick the least amount of bottom pieces. That is going to help you because tops are usually thinner fabric and you can pack a lot more tops to mix and match if you only have a few bottom pieces. So now you can expand your travel wardrobe while choosing a minimal amount of clothing. Let me know if these ideas helped. Introduce yourself. Tell me where you're going on your vacation, what you're packing for. And I hope you know that we do have a worldwide little community here of people who share tricks and tips that worked for them. Introduce yourself and know that I really appreciate the time you take to watch my videos.